I'm Dr. Erin Carnes, and I am the Chief Medical Officer for Hospice and Palliative Care of Iredell County, and I am here with Dr. Moran. And I'm Dr. Joseph Moran. I've been in Piedmont Healthcare now since the inception of Piedmont Healthcare. My office is in Statesville, and I'm a primary care internal medicine physician, and I'm also chairman of Piedmont Healthcare. So first and foremost, you want to pick someone as your healthcare power of attorney, if at all possible, who you trust, and that may not even be a family member. But you also want to tell those loved ones who aren't your healthcare power of attorney your wishes so that it doesn't create turmoil at whatever time those decisions have to be made. Another question or concern I've heard occasionally was, well, I can write it down and go over with my family, but they're just not going to honor my wishes anyways. There are ideas and tips on how you can get patients to kind of talk to their family. I think a lot of it's fear on talking to family members about what their wishes are and overall health conditions. Starting those conversations early and having them often makes them more comfortable. Uh, I agree a lot of times it is fear and the way that you can often combat that is just by continuing to have those discussions even if it's little bits at a time. Um, or having someone like your primary care doctor or a palliative care doctor help you have those discussions with your loved ones.